Hello everyone, I'm so glad to be back. Um, the last couple of weeks the house has been so upside down because we've had a leak and the floors were destroyed. So I just didn't have the headspace, I couldn't think and we didn't have the physical space because everything has been upside down. But we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and so today I'm really excited to tell you all about garlic because the change in the weather means that one minute you're hot, the next minute you've got to put something else on because you're chilly and that fluctuation in the weather can lead to chills, colds, coughs, flus and of course winter is approaching so it's really timely to be talking about garlic now. Um, garlic is one of the most miraculous, most powerful plant medicines here on the planet and it's been used since time immemorial. It's referred to by the ancient Chinese, the Romans and um, it's been used all across Asia and Europe for about 7,000 years. So it's really well documented all the powerful healing attributes that it has. So I'm going to show you three or four different ways that you can use garlic to get it into your system for the coming winter. But first of all, I just want to tell you all that it can do for you because you may not be aware of all the other things it can do apart from heal coughs, colds and flus. So because of its um, constituents, it's very, very beneficial for the immune system. It's antibacterial, it's antiviral, it's a natural antibiotic, it's antifungal, it's a vermifuge, which means it's an antiparasitic, and it's also an anti-inflammatory. So it's obviously going to support the immune system in, with all of those um, attributes. But for the respiratory system, it is also an antispasmodic. It thins the mucus that could lead to a heavy chesty cough. It is an anti-inflammatory, so it's going to help with um, arteriosclerosis. It's very beneficial for the cardiovascular system. It can, it can reduce hypertension or high blood pressure. And it does this by breaking up big fatty blood clots and cholesterol and helping the blood to move more freely. It's so cleansing that it also cleanses the lymph. It supports the liver. And if you've got your lymph and your blood and your liver supported, you're going to end up with more energy, more clarity and clearer skin as well. And um, as I said, it's an anti-inflammatory. So if you've got any joint pain, that can be relieved with garlic. It's going to benefit the reproductive system and any other mucous membranes in the body and any site of infection. So you can use it externally as well as taking it internally. And the best way to take it is as a raw food. But most people would find that very difficult. So how can we get it into us when it is difficult to take raw? I'm going to show you three or four or five ways of getting it inside, which are to me really wonderful ways. First of all, we use our medicine as food. So we're taking this food and making it into medicine. Now I've, I add garlic into all my cooking. So if I'm sauteing onions, I put garlic in. And I learned recently that if you chop up your garlic and leave it to sit, for maybe 10 minutes before you use it, it actually activates all the compounds. So the sulfur compounds, the allicin, the vitamins A, B and C, the aromatic oils and the um, other ingredients all become more activated. So as a food, you can just add it into your soups and stews and casseroles, um, stir fries, whatever it is you're making, Put in your garlic and put in a little bit extra towards the end of cooking and then it will have sat here for the few minutes and it will be more tasty. You can make a garlic oil which would be really delicious um, poured over potatoes or pasta or as a dipping oil and, um, and then you can use that in other types of cookery as well. You can also use the oil topically and you rub it onto your back and your chest if you had a chesty cold. 
you can rub it on the nerves of your legs if you have sciatica. It's really beneficial to rub it onto the soles of the feet of children because often they might find garlic is just that little bit too harsh for them to take orally. Although you could of course put it onto garlic bread or make a really delicious bruschetta. So I'm making a tincture here. So I've chopped up my garlic. It's in a clean jam jar and I just cover it with vodka. And then I let this sit and infuse for four to six weeks. And when that has infused after four to six weeks, um, you strain it off and you take a teaspoon a day. So you could do exactly the same thing with vinegar and then you can use the vinegar in your salad dressings or you could put a spoonful of your apple cider vinegar infused with garlic into a mug of warm water every morning and take it as a prophylactic and um, it's going to help with your arthritis and your high blood pressure and lots of other little issues if you take it in that way. So always remember to label and put the date on. So that is a tincture. So that's making food become your medicine. So I'm going to chop more garlic now to make the oil. Now when you're rubbing oil onto your body, it's the same process. You put the garlic in the oil, you let it sit for four to six weeks and then you strain it off and then the oil can be used on the soles of the feet for children or you can rub it onto your chest and your back if you have a cough. But remember your lungs actually stretch down right to your lower back here. So make sure you're rubbing it in all over the back to get the full benefits. And why it's good topically is because um, our skin draws in about 60% of whatever we put onto the surface of the skin. And believe me, it really, it really makes a huge difference if you've got a deep, deep cough and you cannot get the mucus up. Um, the oil really does help. So that's chopped up there. And while that's going to sit there for a few minutes before I put it into the oil, I'm just going to show you what I do with these little tiny heads from the wild garlic that was growing. It makes these tiny, teeny, tiny little cloves. They're far too small to be peeling. They're too small to really do anything with. So I put them into the coffee grinder and then I just blitz them up. I put them into the coffee grinder and um, don't worry about the skin because once it's all blitzed up, you won't know the skin is there. I mentioned that garlic is a vermifuge. That means it's going to help you to re eliminate worms and parasites. At the full moon, it's a really good time to start taking an antiparasitic medicine such as garlic because the, the full moon kind of wakes up and activates any parasites and they get busy inside and they start to reproduce. So you want to nip that in the bud if you can. And I was just reading about an old-fashioned remedy which is to put a clove of garlic into the anus at night before you go to bed and it's going to, your body is going to draw up the oils and the aroma and the volatile oils of course and um, that's going to help eliminate the parasites as well. But you could just take it in any of the ways I'm suggesting here as well, if you don't fancy popping it there. So it's exactly the same process as making a tincture. We're putting the chopped garlic into the jar and then we cover it with oil. Now, because it's so powerful and aromatic, I'm not filling the jar with it. I'm just going to half fill it. 
and usually I would say six weeks for something to infuse but again because this is so aromatic um, I would say four to six weeks. So if you start making it now it's going to be ready in plenty of time for all those winter ailments but um, these remedies can all be taken as prophylactics as well. Certainly the garlic vinegar and the garlic oil. So there you are, isn't that lovely? And always label what it is you make with the date. Another lovely way to use garlic is to infuse it in honey, which is brilliant for children because the burning um, strong taste of the garlic is tempered by the sweetness of the honey. And honey itself is a natural antibiotic and um, immune support. So if you chop up some of your garlic and put it into honey, that's another way to enjoy it and to preserve your health and to keep your children healthy. And again, we're using food as our medicine, which just is one of the best things because it reminds us that Mother Earth provides us with everything that we need and particularly in terms of our health, if we only remember. So I'm going to make this really small for the honey and I'm just going to pop it into the honey and give it a good stir. So for the garlic into the honey, I'm just going to put it in. So, oops. And the dogs are there in the background, playing and having fun. They're ready for, a, for an excursion up the road. We can't say the W word because they know what it means. This is something lovely to drizzle over vegetables as well. Just get that in there. Now it does tend to float to the top in honey. So, you know, every time you go to take some, give it another stir. But you could even put a clove of garlic minced up onto a toothache. It will relieve the pain and counteract any infection. I mean, really, uh, garlic is, can be applied to everything. Every ailment and problem. So that's the honey. And again, we'll just put a label on. Those little bits of garlic that are too small to peel, I'm just going to blitz them in this. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of um, olive oil in here just to help it to blend. This is because I don't like to waste anything and these little tiny bits of garlic are just as good as larger pieces. And when it's blitzed up like this, if you're busy one evening and you haven't got the time to do all that chopping and letting it sit, you can just throw in a spoonful or two of this. So there it is beautifully minced up garlic. You could smear it over a pizza, you could rub it over chicken, you can just throw it into your stew. It just saves time, you don't have to go chopping it if you're busy. So to recap, 
garlic is going to just help you with every complaint and every system of the body and it was used in the past as a herb of protection so I'm aware that Samhain or Halloween is coming up and so it might be worthwhile putting some garlic into a little amulet just to protect you if you're out and about because you know the veil between the worlds is thin and there could be all kinds of creatures walking about out there so it's just something else to think about So maybe you let me know in the comments below how you use garlic and what your favorite recipe is for winter time, for winter wellness. And I look forward to hearing from you. So lovely to be here again and see you next week. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.